Every year, thousands of people report Bigfoot sightings. We are not one of those people. This is Never Finding Bigfoot. Oh boy! Question Van on it. Lead investigator for Never Finding Bigfoot. This week, we're gonna jump right into the action. Come on for the journey. So he pulled me off his mom and he puts me aside and he's like, dude, you're a fucking alcoholic. And I said, look, man, I'm not. That's something you gotta stick down deep inside and keep an eye on it. What are you gonna do though? Your brother's always crazy. Let's go. Come on. See that? <laughs> what we have here is a tibula femur, you know. This is found in about 92% of deer. I don't know what that means, but sure it's something. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you see this? You know, just like that woolly worm that uh, predicts the, the winter's coming every year. If you see a, a green-footed caterpillar about five feet off the ground, you know, the Bigfoot Almanac says that there's heavy squatch activity in the area. This is one of our best clues yet. Thank you, buddy. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Getting close here. Well, as you can see here, this is a carcass of a very large dead bird. Uh, you can obviously tell here by the, the wing, I like to refer to this as the, the flap. Um, there's clearly a struggle here. There's some dirt kicked up. Um, my guess is the bird was probably alive when the Bigfoot killed it. Um, that's really the only option to that, but let me examine the head here. Oh yeah, this is a classic, classic kill by Squatch. See these northern squatch like bird meat because it falls right off the bone. And in these summer summer nights, you know, the meat gets very tender. And uh but you know as you're as you're looking at the teeth here, you know, this animal was suffering before the Bigfoot killed it. There's uh cavities riddled all throughout this the the, the skull here. I mean look, the teeth just fall right out. I don't know what else to say. It looks like we're going to have to call in an expert. What do you got? Oh, shit. Sorry. Well, it's clearly a bird. This goes a long way in your search for Bigfoot. I knew it. We have to deem this sacred ground. Your loss was for the greater good. Should we get out of here or what? What should? Do you hear that? I'm gonna do a call. Clearly just an ankle sprain. Uh, uh, where are you going again? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> fucking unbelievable. 
The shit I put myself through for this fucking show. I don't. I never find a Bigfoot. It, I never do. You know, I'm walking around here and falling, hurting myself, and then it's all for nothing. All for fucking nothing. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a breather. I'm gonna piss. I'm gonna recharge the batteries. I'm gonna come back. All right. This tree's kind of odd. I feel like we've been walking for days. What the fuck was that? Watch out, there's a caterpillar hanging there. When I was giving up hope. This here is a classic, classic sign of a Bigfoot. And you know, I can just see it right now. Clearly, this Bigfoot was parched from its journeys through the stick brush. And it, it leaned on this tree, and that's what you see here right now. You know, searching around the area, I see footprints. Uh, smell that? Smell that? Smells like uh I don't know. Clearly something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 come here. You see that? Definitely piss. <laughs> oh boy, we just came across the holy grail. Let me taste it. Taste a bit of canola oil, a little Tabasco sauce, and is that chicken? Oh boy. I'm gonna take one more swipe. Yep. Tasted ground fruit. I knew it. It is clearly ground fruit. Bigfoots love ground fruit. You come across squash piss and you taste ground fruit. You know you're close. You know, if we could just get our bearings of where we're actually at, I'd say we're hot on its trail. Probably a couple hours back, so. Quest and Van Orn, investigator for never finding Bigfoot. We'll see you next week.